hello class welcome to this video tutorial today we are going to look on how we use four figure elementary mathematical tables and to be more specific we are going to start with the tables of squares and squares so we are going to look at tables of squares and that of squares so how do we use this four figure mathematical table to find squares of numbers and also to find square roots of number. So let's look at some of the examples on how we can use tables of squares. So we are going to use tables of squares to solve the following examples that you are seeing. So let us get the solution of each and every example that we have. So solution. So for the first part, we have 0 0.573. So this number, we are first of all going to write it into standard form, and this is going to be 5.73 times 10, because we have moved only one step on the right, from left to right, we have negative. And how many steps have we moved? One. So it is 5.73 times 10 raised to power negative 1. Therefore, we are going to look at the square of this number. Then we multiply that by the square of this number here. The square of this number we are going to get from our table. And what is the square of 5.73? You come to your table and look at where 5.73 is. Then what value coincides with that so we have 5.7 then you look at where there is 3 so that we have 5.73 and the value that coincides there is 32.83 as you are seeing from your table so we are going to have the square of this as 32.83 times what is the square of 10 raised to the power negative 1 this can be written as 10 raised to the power negative 1 then we square. So this can also be written as 32.83 times we can just multiply negative 1 by 2 so that we have 10 raised to power negative 2. And 10 raised to power negative 2 can as well be written as 1 over 10 squared. 1 over 10 squared. And this 1 over 10 squared we can have by writing it as 32.83 times 1 over 10 squared is just the same as 10 times 10 and 10 times 10 is 100. So if we take this times 1 divided by 100 is just like having 32.83 divided by 100. So we have 32.83 divided by 100. So this first zero will put the decimal here the second zero will have us get our decimal there so we have 0 0.3283 and that becomes our solution